What's up, my pilots? Angfonchi, we're back playing Morrowind. We're here in Aldrun. I have my journal open to the appropriate page. The Spy Master, that would be Caius, sent me to find Hasor Zane Zubani. And he said to check. Uh. Ald Scar Inn. Alright, cool. Get me out of here. Thank you. No. Close the buck. There we go. Alright, so yeah, we're, we're here in Aldrun now. So now it's just a matter of, of finding the guy that we were meant to find. And then we gotta figure out what he wants for his birthday. And get him his favorite present so he'll tell us all about the cults. There we go. Oh man, that armorer skill. It takes a lot a lot of work to raise armorer. Come on. My time is precious, so make So I'm guessing the Ald Scar Inn is gonna be under Scar up here, so. We'll we'll see how it goes. I you, you can never really can tell in Morrowind where exactly things are gonna. Wow, look at that! You can see the ghost fence from here. It's really really close to Alvrun. I wouldn't be really comfortable living here. You know, that'd be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? Some bread just sitting there. It's gotta be so stale, man. Who would even want that bread? All right. Whoops. Show me the inn. No. Maybe it's over here on the right side. They would, they would have a sign, wouldn't they? I would, you would think. Let's see. Oh, you never know. It could be even farther in. I'm gonna go farther in. I'm gonna I'm gonna wager that it's it's in there somewhere. Oh, this will this will tell us if we fix that table bug too. With that patch we attempted to apply. Hey, look at that! It looks like a normal table. Sweet. With a scroll Not on it. Now, Dunmer, I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody's got better things to do than talk to me. Freaking Poncho, nobody wants to meet, deal with this Dunmer. Alright. So, is, is the inn back here? It would seem like a strange place to put one, put one but you, mean, you never know. I don't see any signs or anything around here. Hmm. I don't know where the where the inn is. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't under Scar. Perhaps that was a faulty assumption. Oops! This is Gull's house. I thought this was the exit. What the heck am I doing? Let me go back. The exit is <laughs> it's back around this way. I got totally turned around there. It's, it's confusing. When how did they get all the stuff on the ceiling? Did they paint the ceiling in here. It's kind of neat. Yeah, so I'm looking for the Ald Scar Inn. If only I knew where such a place was. Do you know where the Ald Scar Inn? What was what? I don't know. No, you look like trouble to me. Nope. Oh, wait, hang you on. Will address me with respect. Tell me about, uh, not you. I've got better things to do. You there. Tell me about mind, places. So da, da, da. The Ald Scar Inn to the west. Okay, so it's in the western part of the city. Thank you. I'm not going to read the rest of what she said. I'm not interested. So it's somewhere in the west. Don't. I wouldn't bet it would be it down there. But you never know. I mean, if it's got scar in it, it must be somewhere around here, right? Anyway, let's just go. Ugh. We'll look around in the western part of town, shall we? Oh, there's a big building. That might be it. Speak quickly, so here's... Yeah, this is it here. Wow. I thought it was going to be the one farther down the street. I wonder what that is. Either way, so we're looking for Zane Zubani, which is. <laughs> Freaking minstrels in here, man. Crazy. Crazy. Quick, what do you know about Hasior Zane Zubani? The traitor? He'll be downstairs reading, or in the back room below the bar. Where is he at? Is he down here reading? Is that him there? Sasha? No. I haven't much time. Doesn't look like he's down here reading. Maybe he's in the back room below the bar? Maybe the bartender can tell me more? Chomp, 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 chomp. 
the hell was that? You just chomping? Are you naturally unpleasant, or do you have to work at it? Because you seem to have a gift for making enemies. Oh. Sorry. Hello, minstrel. Speak, traveler. Did you take any requests? <laughs> oh, I can't request. Oh well. Chomp, 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 chomp. Everyone's chomping. Here he is. Chomp, 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 chomp. I guess he's busy right. eating right now. What is your business with me? You wish to learn of the Ashlanders from me. Is that what you wish to learn? <laughs> yeah, what are their gift-giving customs? A curious question. A gift is a sign of courtesy among strangers, affection among friends. Among strangers, a thoughtful gift is a sign that you are cautious and considerate and aware of the other's wants and needs. S such is particularly useful for traders and travelers. Among friends, it is a private thing and subtle with great risks. For the test of the gift is how well it is tailored to the receiver. What's a thoughtful gift? Yes, a gift shows you've taken the care to learn something of the receiver. For example, I love poetry. No stranger could be expected to know this, but a book of poetry given to me by a stranger shows the giver respects me and has made a special effort to know and please me. But now I have answered your question and will have some time for myself. Would you excuse me? Okay. Where am I going to find a book of poetry? There's a bookstore somewhere around town, I suppose. I think we actually might have walked past one on the way over here. I recall. It's eerily quiet outside. Is this a bookstore just right here? That's super convenient. It's funny how that works out, isn't it? Where's the shopkeeper? Hey, buddy! You got any books on poetry? Um. Whatever. We'll just look and see in his inventory. A less rude song. I think that might be poetry. ABC's for barbarians. I should give him that. Uh, five songs of Wolfheart. What was that? Wolf, Wolf Hearth. Cult Worship, Mage's Guild. Miln Faram's Scroll. Summon Daedroth. Wow. Uh, the Balladeer's Fake Book. I don't know what that is. The Doors of the Spirit. That's interesting. Words of the Wind. Words of Clan Mother Anisi. Red Book of Riddles. Hey, at least, at least it's actually red in this in this game. Apparently in Skyrim it's yellow or something. It's ridiculous. Uh, none of these seem to be... Explicitly seem to be poetry. I mean, uh, maybe one of them is and I'm just not... Dang it. Gosh, dang it. You're a bookseller. Here's some advice. Uh, who to talk to? I'm still trying to get poetry to pop up over here. Alright, well... Haram. We have to make a couple guesses and buy some books. Yeah, oh jeez, I got over 9,000 gold. Nice. A less rude song? We'll try that. Ashland hymns? I don't know, maybe. That doesn't seem like a great idea. Hymns might be weird, but you never know. We'll, we'll, we'll read it. Have a, have a look. See, lives of the saints. Paper. <laughs> okay. Red book of riddles. Doors of the spirit, perhaps. I don't know what a fake book is. Let's try it. All right. I don't want to pay that much for books. You crazy? Alright. What what have we got here? A less rude song. This is what I've heard about. They say the Lilic Bay is the pl is the place to barrel on to barrel around with a bit without a bit of apparel on. As advertised in that carol song, a tune that's sung as the west wind blows, about it lovely not we <laughs> not wearing any clothes. Should I give him this? I don't I don't know if that's a great gift. Uh, Ashland hymns. A volume of folk verses collected from the Ashlanders. Hmm. Oops. Hello. Is that it? Is that all you got for me? Just one page? Maybe I should give him this. That seems like a better idea, honestly. I still have Progress of Truth and stuff. Balladier's fake book. Contains the lyrics of many popular Western, Western drinking songs. Oh my. 
No thanks. Doors of the Spirit. The ancestors are among us. They're never farther away than the... What? That's not poetry. Alright, well, perhaps we should take a shot at this and... I'm gonna give him a less rude song. <laughs> First, at least. And then we'll try the Ashlander hymns. I, I was expecting a book that was explicitly titled Poems of some description to... I don't know. Just to be clear. Huh. I guess the bard's done for the day. Quick save. Hey there, buddy. Oh, you're still eating? Sorry. What's your business with me? I believe I answered your choosing about choosing a thoughtful gift. Oh, I had it in my inventory. It was the Ashland Hymns. He figured out what he wanted. This is a gift for me? I'm amazed. A copy of Ashland Hymns. Simple sentiments, simply stated. I gratefully accept your gift. My people have never loved the written word, and I lament their ignorant scorn for such common, nipot potent magic. I thank you and honor your courtesy. Would you please me to re how do do that? It would please me to return your courtesy by answering your questions. What would you like to know about the Ashlanders? There's too much to tell. Take these notes. I've written here what you should know about the Ashlanders and the Nevering cult. Most of all, if you're visiting a camp, there are things you should know about courtesy and challenges among the Ashlanders. Since you ask about Nerevarin, perhaps you'll be interested in my views on Ashlanders and foreigners. Hmm. Okay. As the, the guiding passion of the Nerevarin cult is the hatred of foreigners. Tell me about the challenges. When challenged for sport, it is acceptable to decline. When challenged for honor, it is shameful to decline. Honor challenges come from offense given in speech or action, and may represent customary formal challenges of status or ritual. What about the cult? They worship the great Ashkan and Hortatara, Nerevar, Moon, and Star, who ages, in ages past destroyed the evil godless dwarves and banished the treacherous Dagathur and his foul hosts beneath Red Mountain. Hmm. The cult is of small consequence in Ashlander worship, and only among the Urshilaku do its followers have any influence. Other Ashlander tribes share the sentiments of the cult, but regard the Nerevarine prophecies with suspicion and skepticism. Anything else about courtesy? Here we go. Ashlanders may challenge a stranger who enters a yurt without invitation. Customs differ with different tribes, but leave when requested and you may be forgiven. Be particularly careful about Ashkans, tribal chiefs, and wise women, tribal seers, and counselors. Some are welcoming, some are hostile. Be courteous and leave if requested. If offended, they may attack. Wow, don't piss them off. Thanks, bro. Is that all I needed from you? Well, that's cool. Okay, that's good. That's good information to have. Hurry this up, will you? I'm gonna take it back to Caius. That was a relatively. That, I, that was cool, actually. That was interesting to learn about. I, I like that you kind of had to to play the game of the of the courtesy deal to to get it, to get him to actually tell you about the game itself, which was cool. I've got better. Things. Oh, I've got better things. The guards are all so exasperated. Just just by seeing me walk past, do they get irritated? Seems a bit strange, but whatever. I'm taking this little strider back. Sir? Sir? No, no, I'm not. I'm gonna freaking recall. What am I even saying right now? Going back home should be as easy as whoop a ba you know? Unless I feel casting the spell over and over again. Meow! <laughs> did I put it outside Caius' house? If I didn't, I'm... I should move it to there. No, no, it's here. It's in Caldera! Oh, I forgot I put it here. Well, actually, while we're, while we're here, what, can I, does, he, does he buy books? I seem to remember him not buying books. That's irritating as hell. Alrighty. Um. Oh yeah, I need to switch. I need to switch to start using the chink blade. I could sell him the boots of speed, but it would probably be best to keep them. Oh, here we go. Get a good sixteen thousand gold off of him. <laughs> you know what we can actually do is we can try and play this play this game a little bit smart. I'm gonna buy back a bunch of stuff from him, so that like the net sold is five five thousand. We'll see how close we can actually get them. Yeah, not a whole lot of uh, Dwemer coins. Those will help. <laughs> there we go. See now I'm now I'm getting like four thousand out of him, and then I have a bunch of stuff back over encumbered. So now I'm just gonna wait for a day. He should get his gold back, and we can just start selling the things back to him that we bought. So you can see, whoops. Yep, he got his gold back. 
So now I can throw all this Brotherhood armor at him again. He'll buy it right back up. No big deal. There we go. Get another 5,000 gold out of him. We'll wait another day. This is what you do when you have things that are way too expensive for him to buy it all at once. Like that, that sword was worth 16,000 gold. But he only does in increments of 5,000 tops. So... You gotta just play your cards right. What else did I buy from him? Shitloads of Dwemer coins. Let me take some of those back. I don't need this to go too far over. Whoops. Did that wrong. There we go. That's pretty close. Take the soul gems back. Cha chink Gosh, that sound. I think they even they used they kept that same sound for Oblivion too. Oop. Kai's is like, man, it's taking this guy like two weeks to get this quest done. What the hell's going on here? Alright, what else do I want to sell to him? I could get rid of these. Ha ha ha. Anything else I'm carrying around that's just not not worth carrying? Spear we just took from him. Give that right back. Okay, cool. Make, make that offer. So we just came out of that with... Yep, looks like about... Yeah, about 15,000 more gold in the process. Nice. That was worth it. That was worth it. Now I need to get back to... Uh, I need to get back to Balmora from here. Hmm. How am I going to do that? Uh, acrobatics. I, mean, I could just walk from here, but... I mean, it would be nice if we could get a shortcut. I'm just going to go over to the Mages Guild and have them send me. Why not, right? Why not? So it looks like we've actually made our way through most of those hammers that I got <laughs> at the beginning. Uh, and our armorer skill still persists at 18. It's just so so hard to raise that skill. But like I say, the fact that glass armor gets damaged pretty quickly means that we'll be using it more time? frequently than others might. Let's go to Balmora. Oh, won't you please take me home? Oh, won't. Yes. Good times. Yeah. I guess we just all we have to do now is just report back to Caius, right? I think, I think I think we had talked enough with the guy, and he gave us the the packet of information right at the very beginning. So I think all the questions I asked after that were totally optional. I've heard a lot. I'm gonna swing past the Fighters Guild and pick up some more hammers, if they have any in the the public chest in the front. Well, not public, but the guild chest in front. It'd be nice to collect some of those. Can never have too many repair hammers, right? No, oh, I still haven't restocked this this thing. Oh well. Ah, I'm a sleeper, one among thousands. Oh, dude. Sleepers awake. How's Dagoth is risen? Yeesh. They are, they are weird people, aren't they? Crazy, crazy, house Dagoth worshippers. Strange place to be in, that's for sure. We're gonna learn more and more about that as time goes on. I'm gonna go right over this guy's house. Screw around. What is this around you speak of? Go over your house. It's actually pretty convenient. It's weird here that all of the staircases to the second, to like the tops of the houses are just. Oh, does he have a bunch of moon sugar on top of his house? What the hell? Caius! You just got a pile of moon sugar on top of your house. I'm not gonna touch it because it'll probably be stolen if I if I touch it. So and then Kaios will get pissed at me. I might get kicked out of the blades. You never Go you ahead. never know, man. I'm yeah, I'm ready to discuss my orders. Thanks for your report, but keep Zane Zubadi's notes on the Ashlanders. You'll need them. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Urshilaku camp to speak with Sol Matul and the N Nibani Maesia. But before you go, I think it may be time to tell you what's going on. Dun dun dun. In the next episode of... Oh, okay, now let's do it now. The Emperor and his advisors think you have the appearance of meeting the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies. That's why you were pulled out of prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me, so you could satisfy the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies and become the Nerevarine. Here, this is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later. It should explain everything. As you'll see in the decoded message, the Emperor and his counselors say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy, 
Do you really satisfy the prophecy? Are you really the prophesized Nerevarin? At first, I thought we were just supposed to create a, a persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think. But I am sure of one thing. This is not just primitive superstition, and if we tr and we will treat it seriously, just as His Majesty commands. So, Zainzubani says Sul Matul and Nibani Mesa at the Urshilaku camp are the heads of the Nervarin cult. I'm sending you to speak with them. Tell them your story, and have them test you against the Nervarin prophecies. As heads of the Nervarin cult, they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies. When you've spoken with them, report back to me. Here's 200 drakes for expenses. Pick up some supplies at Fort Moonmoth. Ooh. We have a serious quest ahead of us now. And we will, we will embark on it. And proceed farther down the road to badassery. And perhaps Nerevarinehood in the next episode of Let's Play Morrowind.